You're watching Let the Quran Speak, and we are answering your questions. If you have a question, visit our website, quranspeaks.com. Dr. Shapir, the question is, in what way is Jesus, or Isa, considered to be the Messiah? What did he do or say in order to be granted that title? I know that both Jews and Christians imbue the Messiah with certain attributes and accomplishments, which must come to pass. I'm not yet sure how Islam views the role of Messiahship. Yeah, and uh, in fact, Muslims themselves are not sure. I'm, okay. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Um, the, the Quran uses the term Messiah for Jesus, especially in uh, Surah 3, verse number 45, uh, where uh, in a very prominent way, the Annunciation is made to Mary and said uh, that uh, you're get, getting the glad tidings of a ch child to be born uh, of you. And uh, uh, he will be called uh, Al-Masih Isa ibn Maryam, hmm. the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary. So the Messiah. So what is this title? What does it mean? The Muslim uh, commentators on the Quran in the classical period, writing in Arabic, uh, gave a variety of suggestions. They said, uh, oh, Messiah, the Arabic word is al-Masih. So Masih could come from the verb masaha, which means like to anoint or to, or, or to rub with ointment, uh, maybe because, uh, or, or, or maybe to touch. Uh, so uh, maybe because Jesus had the healing touch, so uh, that's why he is called Al-Masih. Hmm. Or they um, attributed this to a, a different way of, a different etymology, which would mean someone who traveled a lot. So they thought, okay, maybe he was, uh, he traveled a lot for his missions to, uh, per, uh, to promote the gospel. Uh, so that's why he's called Messiah. That means they were just, uh, they were sort of like guessing. They did, nobody knows exactly what. Now, if we relay this to the biblical tradition in the Bible, uh, there is the idea that there is going to be a future king uh, because the, the monarchy was in its heyday in the time of David and then it fell apart in the time of Solomon, his son. And uh, um, Jews uh, longed for a time when you know, a, a special king will, will be in rule, the, the peace will reign on earth and so on. And they refer to that king as the Messiah. Mm -hmm. So at the time of Jesus, when, when Jesus was on the scene, uh, the, his Jewish interlocutors were, were key, keen to know, are you the Messiah? Um, and, uh, you know, the, Jesus's answer is uh, a little bit ambiguous. The, the, the Gospels speak of his Messiahship in, in varying ways. Um, and, and the exact meaning of Messiah seems to be a little bit uh, um, uh, puzzling in, in the Gospels. Uh, but the basic idea seem to be, uh, seems to be one who will rule as per that Jewish expectation. Now, of course, Jesus did not fulfill that expectation, at least not yet. And uh, many Christians believe that when he comes back, he will reign and that will you know, be his fulfillment of that Messiahship. So it has something to do with that kingship. But the Quran never defines this. It seems to me that what the Quran is doing is just simply holding out an olive branch uh, to our Christian friends. Because for, uh, for Christianity, uh, the proclamation that Jesus is the Messiah is very important. In fact, uh, he almost is called Messiah as his name. Hmm. In, in, in Paul's writings, for example, he will just simply say Christ Jesus, as if uh, Jesus has two names, first name Christ, second name Jesus. Um, and of course, in English, people say Jesus Christ, as if Jesus is the first name, Christ is the second name. But technically, is, is Jesus the Christ? And, and the Christ uh, is the Hamashiach in, in Hebrew, or the Messiah, mm, if we use an English equivalent. Uh, so the, the Arabic Al-Masih corresponds uh, very clearly to Hamashiach from the Hebrew, which simply means the Messiah, or uh, the Christ. Now, the Christ, uh, this English term comes from the Greek Christos, which means the same as Messiah. And now in, in, in the Bible, uh, when the term Christos is used, uh, this means an anointed thing or person. Uh, it could be a person like um, uh, one of the kings, the Persian king in, in Isaiah chapter 45, verse number one, uh, Cyrus by name is called God's Messiah. Uh, because he saved the people, he, you know, uh, rescued the Jewish people. So he's called Messiah. That means he's an anointed person. Uh, generally, it means a person who is specially consecrated by God for some holy office. 
And it could be a thing, like a rock, for example, is consecrated uh, in uh, for, for God by people like pouring oil over it. So this uh, is an anointed uh, rock. And uh, anointed is is a is a translation of Messiah mm-hmm. uh, in in English. So we said Christos. That's just a, a, an anglicized version of uh, that. Like Christ is just so the Christ Angli- means Messiah. Uh, yes, Christ means Messiah, and it's used interchangeably in the Bible. Yes, and of course, Christ is not an English word, but it's an anglicized version. You can say of Christos from okay. the Greek, okay. but the English word is anointed. That gives the meaning, like what is it? What does Messiah mean? Anointed. So if we take that back to Jesus, we can say that Jesus is an anointed person. Means that he, you know, the kings of uh, of Israel were anointed with oil. Their heroes were anointed, were anointed, uh, and that in, uh, marked their inauguration into divine office, like office of king for uh, you know under God. So in a similar way, we can think of Jesus as being a king, and he's anointed for that role. Uh, so maybe the Quran, by holding out the olive branch, has a similar idea. Okay, uh, Jesus is uh, in special office with God, uh, and he's min al-Qarabin. He's one who is close to God, but the Quran does not go into defining the title. All right. Thank you for that, Dr. You're welcome. Tired of seeing how Muslims are portrayed in the media? You can help. Support Muslim Media Hub, the first of its kind to empower young people to produce content for film, TV, and social media. Be part of our journey at muslimmediahub.com.